The Palace of Justice in Nuremberg, Germany, is carefully guarded during the prosecution of the terrorists of the Nazi regime who ravaged Europe and committed unbelievable crimes against humanity. Brought before an international tribunal, the leaders of Hitler's Reich, including the still defiant Hermann Goering, the former number two Nazi, Rudolf Hess, and ex-foreign minister von Ribbentrop, face their accusers. <laughs> Newsreel and Signal Corps cameramen are privileged to sit in on this historic scene. These pictures reveal the arrogance with which the German warlords meet the charges of criminal injustice to civilized people. <laughs> Prosecutor Robert Jackson of the United States opens the trial with a strong indictment of the defendants. The privilege of opening the first trial in history for crimes against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility. The wrongs which we seek to condemn and punish have been so calculated, so malignant and so devastating that civilization cannot tolerate their being ignored because it cannot survive they're being repeated. Following the indictment, the presiding judge summons each defendant. The defendants uh, to plead guilty or not guilty to the charges against them. Hermann Wilhelm Göring. Before I die Frage des Gerichtshofes beantworte, ob ich mich schuldig oder nicht schuldig bekenne. I informed the court, the, the court that defendants were not entitled to make a statement. You must plead guilty or not guilty. Bekenne mich im Sinne der Anklage nicht schuldig. Each crime-stained Nazi pleads not guilty. Rudolf Hess, who fled to England, is somewhat the worse for wear as is the frozen-faced von Ribbentrop. Im Sinne der Anklage für nicht schuldig. Next is Julius Streicher, the hated scourge of the Jewish people. But the multitude of hideous crimes charged to these men was not committed against any one race. Their offenses were against all humanity, and the anger of the world demands justice. <laughs> 